Welcome to the Garden Technique Series. Now in these times of forced isolation, you've got the choice of either getting fat or of working on your technique. And if you're lucky enough, just have a bit of space where you can lay a board on the ground. There are a few things you can practice which really will make a big difference to your windsurfing when you can next add water. So you can do this thing on your biggish board, but the question is, why when you get onto your 100 litre or smaller, does it all go to pieces? Well, there are so many little tips and tweaks you can talk about concerning the tack, which is great for us coaches because it keeps us in a job for life, but actually it's about nailing three basic elements. And the first tip is, and I'm not sure there's a polite way of saying this, stop farting about. So with that in mind, check out the tempo of the following tacks, all on different boards and in different conditions on and off the plane. And one, and two, and three. And one, and two, and three. And one, and two, and three. Two things to note are that firstly, from heading up to tacking is just one second. Secondly, you do the tack well before the eye of the wind while the board's still moving and therefore more stable and floating. Coming up, one successful tack. The problem is, because he takes so long to head up, by the time he reaches head to wind, the board is stationary. And now this is why you need that extra volume, because if this were an 80 litre board, you'd be up to your knees by now. So, it's one second to steer into wind, on two, you're tacking, and in three, it's all over. 